Here we go, we've got a fascinating race lined up for you. This is Over the Sticks at Fontwell. So let's go through your runners and riders. Number one, the strongest finisher in the race is number one. The strongest finisher in the race, so always in with a chance. Number two, again, in with a shout. It's been showing good form lately, so number two is in with a shout. Number three, what can I say about number three? If it stays on its feet, just watch it go. If it can get itself over the sticks, it's in with a good shout. Number four, looked good last time out, but it's in a different type of class this time, so I'm not too sure on number four. Number five, oh well, there's a born loser in every race. Number five, not very well fancied. Horse number six, looked very, very good last time out, and it was just pipped at the post in its last race on the run-in. So that is number six for you. Number seven, the best looking horse in the race. Whether it can stay the distance today, I'm not sure. But number seven, certainly very strongly fancied the best looking horse in the race. And finally, horse number eight will do well to finish, unfortunately. It's not the best runner. It hasn't got the legs. It could be totally outclassed. It will do well to finish today. So let's see what happens with your horse. Let's see you get involved. Here we go. Dim the lights. Here we go. Let's watch the show. Fontwell is the race course. And they're lining up and away for this valuable sponsored hurdle. And two is very quickly into his stride on the far side from three. One in the center, ears bricked on the breast girth. And the two on the near side are six and eight. Out into the country for the first time and two retaining the lead over one, but six jumps up nicely in the centre and on the wide outside comes four, a length back then to three and making a bit of ground on the wide outside comes eight and five. But as they run down towards the bottom end of the back straight, it is two who's still out there in front. Uh, one just lost a little bit of ground on that uh, bottom bend, but is still in the contest. Uh, two's going to take it, and six jumps up well on the outside. Then a couple of lengths back to four and three, followed by one making up ground again. And then five, and on the wide outside comes eight. Uh, running down into the bottom turn for the final time and two on the inside just half a length of drift of six are uh, pushed along and scrubbed along in third place is three they're followed by one uh, seven makes a bit of headway on the outside then comes five right at the back of the field at this stage is eight turning into the home straight for the final time and six goes into a clear lead now draws about three or four lengths fair from two on the far side one with the breast girth and the orange colors in the center in third place then back to three they're followed by seven and then five as they come down with one more flight to go it looks all over for six who's out there in front four or five lengths away from number one who shoved along to keep his place in second but is running on over the final flight and six is beginning to tie up in front and one's coming after him they're a long long way clear of two and five up towards the line and six maintaining a lead but one comes after him 50 yards to go six getting tired moves a bit left-handed but retains an advantage of half a length up to the line goes six takes it from one. It'll be close for third and fourth, but two gets into third place. And the full result, first number six, second number one, third number two, and fourth number five.